Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Stay tuned to the end to find out more information. Okay, I admit it. I really like Animal Crossing. For real, man, when I first played this game a couple months back, I was not expecting to get invested at all. I figured it'd be just like most other games I try to get into. I'd play the game for a day or so, have a decent enough time, and then I'd get busy with work and never play the game again. But after one video of just goofing around in the game, and then another where I started really trying to get stuff done, I'm pretty dang into my Animal Crossing island now. In fact, Animal Crossing has invaded my life so much that I even wrote and recorded my own original Animal Crossing music just for fun. It's playing in the background of the video right now. Aren't you proud of me? And you guys really seem to like Animal Crossing too. Pretty much every comment on the last Animal Crossing video is asking for a part three, so... Why not? I'm not gonna become some kind of Animal Crossing-centric channel or anything, but I don't know, maybe every now and then we can just pop back over to an island and see what's going on. Plus, I gotta be honest, that Adventure Time recap took a lot out of me, so I really wanted to just chill and play some Animal Crossing this week. Not really looking to get a ton of stuff done like last time, just wanna chill out, goof around, and see what happens. So with all that said, last time on an island, I attacked the pig, threw medicine at the rhino, forgot the horse's birthday, got three stars in island evaluation, got the guitar dog to perform on the island, and reached the end credits. And after all that, like I said, I got busy and didn't play the game for about a month. And boy is the game salty about that because it won't stop reminding me. I walk out of my house with this crazy bedhead. <laughs> Get it? Cause you haven't paid attention to me in weeks! Then, as I walk around the island and talk to all the villagers, everyone's like, Oh my god, we thought you were dead. Uh, where the heck have you been? Alright, game! I get it! I have a run around the island and, uh... Can't help but notice that a lot of the trees I planted never grew. Like, a lot of the trees. After like a month? Apparently, most of the crap I planted on the island never grew because they were either planted too close together, planted near the water, or I guess just didn't freaking feel like it. But these trees did grow? I don't get it. So I guess I'm gonna have to deal with all that crap at some point. But in the meantime, Good lord, there are so many bugs on the island right now. Like, I get it, it's summer, but this is just too many bugs. I mean, I can't even go two steps without... Oh. Dude, look at that. I think someone dropped like a mystery item or something. Let's pick it up and see what it- Oh God, oh God, oh, what is that? A leaf bug? Ugh, oh God, I hate that so much. It, too many bugs. Well, I guess I can at least take some of these new bugs over to the museum. Yeah, 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 that'll be nice. And I'll get to see the curator, Blathers. He's always really cute and pleasant. Whoa, okay. My return to Animal Crossing is not going exactly as I planned. I'm not really feeling relaxed. Kind of the opposite, actually. Let's, uh, let's just head over to Tom Nook and see what new stuff we can do. Well, you've pretty much done everything I can tell you to do. You're on your own now, kid. But, uh, keep, keep giving me money. All right. So far, everything is scary and nothing is helpful. Guess I'ma just start doing stuff then. And there's actually a lot of new stuff I can do now. I didn't show this in the last episode, but after the credits rolled, Tom Nook showed up and gave me access to the Island Designer app, which after shelling out 12,000 Nook miles because this game wants to bleed me dry, gives me the ability to terraform the island and really change things up. I can make paths, construct cliffs, and waterscape, whatever that means. Uh, this, it is this. And let me tell you, waterscaping, Freaking revelation! Like, holy crap, why would you ever spend $200,000 for another bridge when you can just make more land? The other stuff is, eh. I mean, I definitely used it, but it doesn't hold a candle to waterscaping. That junk gets a 10 out of 10 from this guy. Woo! Anyway, first things first, I dug up all my tree failures, built out this cliff over here, and replanted every single one in the hopes that they'll actually freaking grow this time. And I painstakingly laid out a ton of paths across the island for literally no reason. It's just dirt. What the heck am I doing? Now, one thing I haven't really messed with at all is my house. I made it a bit bigger in the last video, but that's pretty much it. Well, I did a little work and sunk a little money into it, so I'm proud to present to you guys my house. 
Do you hate it? I feel like the bathroom towel flooring mixed with the blaring orange walls makes it a really comfortable place to relax after a long day's work. It's still a little simple right now because I'm not made of money, but I got my guitars, my bed, my DIY desk, and a little place to listen to music. Oh, and I even had a new room installed. You're gonna love this. It is a toilet. I yell at the toilet. Wow, this takes peeing in the ocean to a whole new level. Okay, I think I've spent enough time doing hard labor and interior decorating. Let's take a break and socialize with some people on the island. Oh, hey, Lobo, my favorite forgotten member of the Star Fox team. What you up to, my man? Uh, I wanna leave. Okay, so here's the thing. I've gotten pretty dang attached to this group of villagers. This is my first full Animal Crossing town, man. I love all these guys, except Canberra. I still don't really know much about her. And I know a bunch of you in the comments last time kept saying I got all the ugly villagers, and you know what? You're right. But ugly villagers need love too, dang it. You think I'm gonna tell Elise to leave just cause she's really unpleasant to look at? No, she's having a great time. I'm not gonna ruin that. And Lobo here isn't the first villager to tell me they were thinking of moving. But every time this happens, I get a legitimate feeling of sadness that I haven't felt since I was a kid and you had to send away your chows in Sonic Adventure 2. I don't wanna lose any of these guys. So I say to Lobo, oh man, I'd miss you. And suddenly all desire to move magically disappeared from Lobo's brain as he continued to walk around the island happily doing absolutely nothing. Something tells me these villagers aren't that smart. Oh, hold up, speaking of which, looks like we got a new visitor over at the campsite. I mean, I'm completely full up on villagers anyway, so it's not like they could really move here, but let's just go say hi and- <gasps> Oh. My god. Hey, Lobo. About that move. So this is Mary, or as I call her, Cat Mabel. She is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen, and my new goal in life is to get her to move to my island. But because my island has the max number of villagers, which is only nine for some reason, the only way for her to move in is for someone else to move out. But I don't wanna lose anyone. Except Canberra. I don't really care if she leaves. But when I talk to Mary, she says the only person who might be open to leaving is Bella. Okay, no! You may be cute, but Bella is my favorite villager. I mean, I know I said Hopkins was my favorite, but uh, he's been kind of creeping around my yard all day, so I'm not super keen on him anymore, but I am not getting rid of Bella. We are besties, so you can take your stupid little random guest card game and get off my island! <clears throat> So Mary did not end up moving to the island. But you know what? Maybe I'm being a little too sentimental. I mean, if my villagers are ready to move on to new islands after only living here for two months, then who am I to stop them? It's not a great financial decision, but I shouldn't be holding them back. If you love someone, set them free, right? So you know what? Next time a villager says they wanna move, I'ma let them move, no matter how much it may hurt me. Oh, Spork wants to leave? Eh, all right. I can live with that. Not really sure why he'd want to leave, though. Attacking the pig. Speaking of my villagers, another thing I've spent a lot of time doing recently is relocating their houses. Originally, I just kind of spread them all across the island willy-nilly, but now I want to line them up all neatly and put down some fencing because Isabel keeps bugging me about fences for some reason. And the best part is that moving a villager's house costs fifty thousand dollars and you can only move one a day because this game is unending torment so here i am dropping fifty thousand dollars day after day just to move houses around on the island not only that but i just dropped a hundred k on a new incline and i'm like 400k in debt from expanding my house that's a lot of money for toilet room so the funds are uh depleting pretty fast the turnip market's still not really working out for me planting money trees can only do so much so i'm uh I'm starting to get worried. If I'm not careful, I could... Oh. Oh no. That base is just too cool, but God, it's $82,000? Lord, there is no way I could ever... I bought it. And I'm broke now. What was that? Uh, um, uh, nothing. So on that note, guys, I think we'll need to pick back up on this another time. Don't worry, next time we visit an island, I'll be back on my feet and we'll be well on our way to reaching a four star, or even a five star island and repaying all of our debts. But for now, I think I'm just gonna have to wrap things up Get because- over oh, no. Wow, that guy looks like he's in a real pickle. 
Hi, I'm that same guy, but different. And while you might not be getting viciously mauled by a greedy tanuki, you should still be keeping your safety in mind, especially on the internet. And that's why today's video is proudly sponsored by NordVPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, meaning it masks your IP address and encrypts your data while browsing the www dots to keep you safe from anyone trying to take a sneak peek at your personal information like that kid who kept cheating off your tests back in fifth grade. I mean, you don't want Tom Nook over here knowing that you spent three hours last night googling how to escape an island run by an insane Tanuki travel agent, do ya? Well, that's where NordVPN comes in. It'll keep your data safe. Heck, it'll keep your data double safe with their double data encryption. This is an award-winning, highly recommended VPN service with crazy fast servers in 60 countries, 24-7 customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, the works. And of course, NordVPN also has some fun extra extra uses, like unlocking region-locked content on sites like Netflix. So if you want to be safer while going online, just head down to the top link in the description or visit nordvpn.com slash ferret and use the promo code ferret to get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month of service for free. That's nordvpn.com slash ferret or the top link in the description with the promo code ferret, F-E-R-R-E-T. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Check them out and stay safe out there, guys.